What's going on everyone, Pi Studios here. Uh, I actually just want to show off something that I thought was really cool. Uh, Nocturne, if you didn't know, Nocturne actually came out with a 30 FPS cap, but there's actually a mod that came out within the last couple of days. So the mod actually just came out yesterday, a 60 FPS mod, which is really nice. I've already tried it out on a low end, relatively low end computer, and it works really well. So I want to make a quick tutorial on just how to install it. So uh, yeah, let's get into that. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. Have you ever been injured? Even if you haven't, people who have often don't sue for many reasons, like if they're worried about how they're gonna pay for a legal representation in a crash, but you actually don't need a lot of money to hire one from today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan. In eight clicks or less, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan. You can even text your attorney and legal team throughout your case. They've got lawyers across 49 states and you don't have to pay if you don't win. That's right, my friends, if you don't win your case, you do not have to pay them a dime giving you the peace of mind you need to get the justice that you deserve. They offer a wide range of case types too, like defective products, personal injury, third party injury, workers' compensation, medical malpractice, nursing home neglect and abuse, premises liability, and many, many more. They've won over $15 billion for their clients. If you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without having to leave your couch. For more info, go to forthepeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. All right, now that that's out of the way, so let's quickly go over what the mod can actually do. So it basically allows any custom frame rate cap. Uh, I guess you can go up to whatever you want. Most people are going to do 60 FPS though. And of course, there is a toggle to go back to 30 whenever you want. And there's also a speed hack toggle too. So if you want the game to run at two times speed, if you're like just grinding or something, that can uh, that can happen too. And it can override the render resolution to 4K or whatever you want. Because uh, from what I can tell, the actual PC port caps out at 1080p, which is really stupid. So just having it uh, having it work at whatever resolution you want is really nice too. And you can disable or override other uh, other settings in the PC port, so that's nice. Um, this mod apparently uses transform interpolation to reach its target, so it won't ever be perfect. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, let's actually look it up. I couldn't really find an answer, but whatever. Um, so Puzzle Boy and Amala Tunnels will force the uh, the game to run at 30 FPS. The the modder tried to make them work at 60, but it, it, they, he just wasn't able to get it working. So whatever, it, they're, they're side games, so it doesn't really matter. So actually getting onto the tutorial now, I would definitely recommend going with the latest one, the current version for Melon Loader, uh, and just download that, plop it wherever you want, and then just look up Melon Loader. And I'll probably put a, uh, a link in the description too. So you go to Melon Loader and then you go to install. So just click here at step three, download Melon Loader. Uh, if Chrome says that Nocturne Framerate DLL is unsafe, uh, just hit keep, it's perfectly fine. It's a DLL, it's not an EXE, <laughs> it, it'll be okay. Okay, and then once you actually install Melon Loader, go to select right here. And then you're gonna wanna go to wherever you have Nocturne installed. So uh, I have a lot of drives here, so it's easier for me to just go to Steam, click Manage, Browse Local Files, and then just come up here, Control C, go back to Melon Loader, Control V, and then click that, and then just leave it as it is, Install. Should be pretty quick. Install was successful, perfect. Okay, so after you install Melon Loader, go up to Net Framework and then install 4.8 right here. Click that and then just save. And then you're also going to want to install 3.5 just because it's a little bit older. So it's not uh, backwards compatible with 4.8. You don't need to download 4.7.2. Uh, from what I did from what I tried yesterday it said it was redundant when I tried to install both so I just installed 4.8 and 3.5 so just run the exe here I don't know why my screen capture went out there okay apparently I already have it installed I didn't know that uh, more you know I guess I did this yesterday on my laptop which is a wholly different Windows install obviously so apparently I already have it let's check for 3.5 real quick and so if you already have it, then obviously you're good. Um, is it going to open? 
I, I had this issue last night where it just took like forever for the 3.5 to actually open. So uh, I don't know, it should be okay. Go back to your Nocturne HD install. And then now that you installed Melon Loader, there's gonna be a couple new folders. Go up here to mods. And then you're gonna wanna go to wherever you downloaded your uh, Nocturne frame rate mod and then just cut it and then paste it into the mods folder. So that's actually, that's the entire setup. So let's actually open up Nocturne HD just to make sure here. It will take a little bit longer to boot just because there's going to be a melon loader on top of the uh, Nocturne EXE. Okay, so apparently I didn't have .NET 6.0, so just go to x64 here. I'll have this link in the description as well. And then that may take a little bit to install, and then we'll run that installer, and then I, that should be it. Okay, install. Hit yes. For some reason, OBS is just not recording that part. Okay, it may take a little bit. It may take a little bit. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. So now we should be good. So let's try out Nocturne HD. Just open up the EXE. You can also open it from Steam, but I'm just doing it here. Okay, and this is a good sign. Okay, one mod loaded, the Nocturne graphics config. And there we go, it's actually finally full screen now. So let's try it out. Okay, the nice thing is that the menu is actually 60 FPS too, and it feels really good. Continue. At least have this save file where I just met Chiaki. Or I say met, but re met, I guess. So yeah, 60 FPS. Oh. You just get a battle right off the top. And there are like frame drops here and there. Like the download said, it's not perfect, but it's definitely gonna be a lot better than it being stuck at 30 FPS. So yeah, let me just auto battle, I don't care. Jesus, you did five? Oh, good job, dude. But yeah, it looks really good. Like I, I think Atlas should have done this in the first place. Kind of silly that they didn't. Okay, can we actually, like, get this going here? My god. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just close off the video with some more Nocturne gameplay. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace. This is the Cathedral of Shadows. We hope that our secret art will be of help to you, Master of Demons. There are more cathedrals elsewhere. Feel free to drop by. Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows, where demons gather. Are you sure?
right. Oh, all right.